hi hello guys welcome back to my channel it's really nice to have you guys here in today's video we are looking at generative ai and generative ai for be uh, beginners you all will agree with me that generative ai is the hot topic in industry right now it's changing everything it's changing how we do things it's affecting all industry and like just imagine like uh, a product like ChatGPT that you can just go in there give you some prompt it can generate images for you it, it can you know like have real conversations for uh, uh, with you and it can solve like almost all mathematical equations right so that is why we need to understand how this thing work and this course is actually uh for beginners so we're going to take it from the basics of generative ai to the point that we are going to be able to develop our own chatbot by ourselves that is more like uh chat and we'll be able to do cool stuff and i hope that you guys will really learn it but um before we continue just to show you guys uh, uh like how the course is going to be so we're going to have like the course in nine modules short short videos because people like short videos right so in today's class we're just going to be looking at introduction to generative ai like like um, having some definitions, some basics of generative AI, like how generative AI works, example of it, example of the application, and all of that. Then we're going to go through all of these modules to the point of developing our own personal chatbots by ourselves, and also understanding some AI ethics, and also discussing that what is the next thing after generative AI. And I think you guys will enjoy it. So let's go into it so but before that why is gen ai the game changer how like why is it like a very big thing well just for you to know gen ai is also generative ai so one of the things that make gen ai to be really really, really the game changer is generating original image images just imagine that a computer that can draw image very cool images from nothing right and those images are original images it's not copying and pasting it's not redesigning in photoshop and it's just creating images from nothing it is really really mind-blowing and people are really using it a lot and also imagine ai that can have conversation like human like just imagine you have a conversation with someone like with, with a computer and you are not able to know that this is computer because it's very intelligent it knows what to say next he knows how to like hold conversations he knows how to stop and like um uh, give you time to like uh, to also speak and all of that so this is actually changing how we work because if we have an ai that can draw images uh that can like even write code uh that can have conversation with human like that ai could possibly replace humans doing jobs right so that's why we need to learn it right and the question that i want to pose to you guys is have you ever wondered how computer or ai that can write essay compose music or even create stony art just like human do you know how they work or do you want to know how they work so if you want to know how they work then i advise you to kind of stick um, uh, to this video and like watch this video from the beginning of the module to the next and I'm no, I know that you guys really enjoy it, okay? So the first thing that we need to uh, uh, touch on, of course, is what is generative AI. So generative AI uh, refers to AI models. So there are also AI models like um, uh, deep neural network, you know, like uh, ANN, you know, like, yeah, even linear regression. They are all uh, AI models. So, but this one is designed to generate new and original content, right? So the uh, traditional AI models that we have, they are making predictions from the data that you give them, but generative AI from, from the name is generating new content, is generating new images that are, that are that never existed before. It's like someone that is creative and creating something new, okay? So, and uh, is able to do that based on the pattern that you that it learns from data okay of course the native ai I learn from data to produce something new whether text images code or even music just imagine like a computer that can create new music like it's it's crazy right so unlike other ai um uh, ai model that can predict or categorize so you see 
uh, most of the emery that, that, that we have you know like um uh, uh, for example like weather forecast you know like predicting or predicting images or identifying images or, cat or category uh, categorizing data like the ai the generative ai model uh generates new content like it's wild okay so that is the difference between generative ai and all other uh, models okay so how does on a very high level how does generative ai works okay generative ai of course rely on data so you have to train generative ai with large data set okay massive data set that allows it to find patterns in images okay so just imagine that you give your generative ai like a lot of images of cats right so maybe like millions so the uh, the gen ai will know that oh yeah this is how cat looks so it, it will learn the pattern and based on that the uh the ai model the gen ai model can also draw new cat that is totally new um, maybe better you know than the data that it was given also pa uh, pattern recognition so the model learns how human communicates or creates uh, mimicking that process to generate uh, generate realistic output so again it's uh, the model learn patterns right from data and from that pattern is able to generate uh new uh, just, just this uh the way like children or students uh in class learn right so they learn how things have been done right they, they form the pattern right and then in the exam or they ask them do your own stuff like draw your own stuff so based on the pattern that they've learned from data they are able to draw new things so that's how generative ai works too but you like it needs lot and lot of data and we're going to look at that uh in, in, in some of the uh, lesson that we have so some examples of uh gen ai uh of course the the most famous one chat you know that has ability to generate new text it can hold conversation write essays and solve math equation and even it can even write code right uh, we have uh for image generation we have dali dali has the capability to generate cool pictures from just um text and these pictures are entirely new that is really 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 wild and for music generation, we, we have OpenAI's jukebox that can compose original music. Compose original new music. That is really mind blowing. So some of the uh, uh, the result might seem off sometimes because what Gen AI is doing is just learning from data. You know, putting patterns together. So sometimes it might put the wrong pattern together, right? But they are still working on this to improve uh, all of this um, potential buyers so it's also possible for gen ai to be buyers right because the model is as good as the data that you give to it right so if, if you give it a biased data maybe like a data that only contains information uh about a particular race and does not have information or like about other uh, uh, uh race right then the ai would definitely be biased right so uh it has the potential of being biased but um that's one of it then true understanding sometimes the ai model lacks true understanding right the ai model doesn't know the meaning behind what it generates even though what it generates makes sense but the model does not understand <laughs> what it's it's like uh like uh, the uh, the mini behind the result that is given out future of generative ai so some of the features are ai powered assistance in every home right now we don't have this gen ai you know uh, at home like just imagine that you have a generative ai uh, like uh you have a robot powered by generative ai model that can um, cook for you that can babysit for you that can do everything for you and can have real conversation with you that is really 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 wild right um and so like fully ai driven content creation and even deeper integration into industry like healthcare and finance right because now like people still have um, trust issues right you know for ai but uh it will come to a point that AI will be everywhere and it will be acceptable. And also, 
AI could write a novel. Like right now, AI cannot write a full novel, but in, in the in the future, you know, there is a potential for it being able to write a complete novel or even design your uh, dream home or even invent something entirely new, right? There is a possibility for generative AI in those space. So I think we've come to the end of the introduction of the basis of generative AI. In the next video, we're going to be uh, uh, exploring ChatGPT and how AI learn to uh, learn how to talk like us. Okay, so if you don't want to miss that video, I will um, advise you to like, subscribe, you know, and also share so that you will be able to uh, see the next video when I post it. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.